This time on the channel I'd like to talk about some of the terminology that you might stumble across when you're looking up the vertical antennas for CB or 10 meter use ground planes vertical antennas. You'll see terms like quarter wave, half wave, five eighths wave, full wave. What does it all mean? So what does all that mean? So let's look at a few antennas. So this particular example is a quarter wave length ground plane type antenna. I always think of these as a Starduster, but this isn't exactly a Starduster, although Ciro does make a Starduster antenna, but this isn't it. This is just another ground plane that they sell. And this one's kind of neat because it's adjustable between 27 megahertz and 45 megahertz so you can actually lengthen and shorten the radials and the vertical element to tune it over a wide variety of frequencies it's a pretty cool little antenna not too expensive either it's 68 dollars on amazon and i will put links for all of these antennas below just in case you might want to investigate them further but this is a classic ground plane antenna and you can always spot these because It'll have a quarter wavelength vertical radiator, and on 10 meters, that's going to end up right around 8.5 feet. And it also have these sloping radials going down that'll be about the same length, so right around 8 feet, 8.5 feet, somewhere right around there. And you'll see different versions of these using three or four radials. The model that I put together actually has four radials, and that's the characteristic of a standard type of ground plane. The reason that the radials are sloped down is if you have an antenna like this where the radials are 90 degrees from the vertical, the impedance will be lower than 50 ohms. It won't make a good match to 50 ohm coax. So you slope the radials down a little bit and that raises the impedance and you can nail that 50 ohm impedance on the antenna. And these antennas are known to be very broadbanded. They're very good antennas. They actually model out very well. And let's look at the gain. This one is sitting at 30 feet and the gain at 30 feet is about 4 dBi. The download of the horizon is a little bit less, but it's still pretty good. So 4 dBi. That's a quarter wave length antenna. Now let's go to a half wave antenna. So for CB use, a vintage antenna that uh, was pretty popular back in the day was called the Shakespeare Big Stick. Shakespeare no longer sells that antenna for CB use, but in a way they still do because you can find what they call the marine big stick which is a 27 megahertz antenna and it is a it's a half wave sleeve dipole so the way that works is the coax goes up through the center of this antenna inside of a metal sleeve and then the feed point is actually up here in the middle so it's it's a center fed dipole um, I've had one of these antennas they work very well they're kind of expensive at about two hundred dollars if you can find one there are cheaper options out there, but let's look at a let's look at a halfway dipole model and see what we can determine. Okay, here is a simple center fed vertical dipole for 10 meter use. I've tuned all these antennas for 10 meters. If you wanted to use one on CB, you would just want to lengthen the elements slightly, lengthen the dimension slightly, and they would work fine on 10 meters. So the problem with the center fed dipole oriented vertically is always that the impedance is going to be a little higher than 50 ohms. So you can see it's about 70-ish ohms and that's typical of a center-fed dipole. If you employ some sort of a matching network, which the Shakespeare Big Stick does in the form of uh, coax matching stub and some capacitors inside of the antenna to get it down to 50 ohms, then these, these work very, very well. They're a good antenna and they're a half-wave antenna. So we've looked at a quarter wave. This will be our half-wave example and let's see where the gain falls compared to the quarter wave and this one is also at 30 feet and the gain is almost identical in fact it's just a little bit better at low angle but very very similar numbers there's less than a dbi between a four element ground plane and a vertical dipole someone on the receiving end of either one of those antennas probably wouldn't notice a difference gain numbers are very similar so that's the shakespeare big stick half wave antenna. And now what we need to talk about is the next increment up is going to be the infamous 5 8 wave antenna. So 
5 8 wave CB antennas are huge. The, the vertical radiator is more than 20 feet in most cases. It's a monstrous antenna. It has monstrous radials that are about 8 and a half, 8 feet long. And uh, these antennas were kind of legendary in their day, looking something like this. And on this antenna, this vertical section of this antenna just happens to be 15 feet long on my model. But I've seen them longer. Sometimes they can be 19 feet, 20 feet, 21 feet, just depending on who you buy it from. They're kind of infamous, but when I plot this antenna, I don't see anything remarkable down low. So you can actually see the gain drops off pretty quickly. It might have a dB of gain over a uh, half-wave center-fed dipole at 15 degrees, but it's it's nothing dramatic. And it does have this skyward lobe at 5.5 dBi or 5 and a third dBi that points up at 40 degrees, which may work for certain DX situations, I'm not sure. But these antennas are called a 5 8 wave ground plane, and that's kind of a misnomer because what's actually going on is there's an inductive loading coil at the base of the antenna. So although it's called a 5 8 wave radiator, the electrical length is actually 3 quarters of a length, otherwise it wouldn't, wouldn't match very well to 50 ohm coax. And you can see that if we look in this image right here, that's our inductive coil at the base of this antenna. And it's just adding an electrical eighth wavelength to this antenna to bring it up to 3 quarters of a wavelength so that it will match the 50 ohm coax. So all 5 8 wave antennas need some sort of a matching device at the base. But they are, you know, this is kind of the big big daddy king of CB antenna, vertical CB antennas in their day. And um, I owned one briefly. I had one up in the air, then a windstorm came through and knocked pieces off of it. So I switched to a uh, the next antenna that we want to talk about, which is an Antron or SolarCon 99. So... The Antron 99 or Sorlocron 99 is an antenna that's advertised as a half wave over a quarter wave. And that can confuse you because, okay, half wave over a quarter wave, isn't that a three quarter wave antenna? But in actuality, it's really not. Because what SolarCon or Antron have done is they put a quarter wave length matching section at the base of an end-fed half-wave vertical antenna. So the quarter-wave part of this antenna is nothing but a matching section, and it's an end-fed half-wave antenna. So when you model this antenna, this model is exactly like uh, a typical dipole, vertical dipole, because that's all it is. But right at the moment, this is probably the most popular CB slash 10 meter antenna that you can buy, and the price is not bad either. So for 130 bucks, this is what most people are buying nowadays because they're readily available, they work well, the price is pretty reasonable. They don't have any radials, so they hold up in windstorms better than something like a Stardust or uh, ground plane might. And uh, this is probably, if I were going to put up a 10 meter vertical, just strictly 10 meter and nothing else, I would probably just order one of these. If I couldn't find a Shakespeare big stick, this is what I would end up with. And they call it a half wave over a quarter wave, so that's very confusing. It's just a half wave antenna. And if you look at the gain numbers, that bears that out because the gain numbers are very similar to something like a Shakespeare big stick. So that's essentially the long and the short of it. Most of this stuff is just marketing. And uh, this half wave, quarter wave, five-eighths wave, full wave. I've seen full wave. If you look at this example here, this is a mobile antenna that's four feet long. And they advertise this as a full wave antenna and it's only four, four feet long. So what they've done is they've wound a full wavelength of wire onto this fiberglass pole and they're calling it a full wavelength antenna. That is just marketing BS. It doesn't mean anything. It's still a four foot antenna. It doesn't matter how much wire you wind on this thing. It's gonna perform like a four foot uh, quarter wave antenna when you're done. So don't believe this marketing hype when you see full wave. That means absolutely nothing. Here's another example where this is called a 5 8 wave antenna. This one happens to be 41 inches long. So they just wrap 5 8 of a wavelength of wire onto this fiberglass pole, and they're calling it a 5 8 wave antenna. That's just marketing. There isn't really any advantage over 5 8 of a wave or a quarter wavelength on this antenna. It just means the same. In fact, I don't even know how they could get away with putting 5 8 of a wavelength of wire on here because it would take a quarter, three quarters of a wavelength to make it work electrically at 50 ohms. So it's just marketing hype, nothing to be really concerned with. And as you can see by looking at the gain numbers between a quarter wavelength 
Starduster antenna and a half wavelength center fed dipole antenna, such as a Shakespeare big stick, and the 5 8 wave example that I, I modeled, the gain numbers are all very similar. So don't let the marketing hype confuse you. All of these antennas are roughly the same amount of gain, and uh, any of them are going to work very well in any situation. So I tend to lean towards something like a Shakespeare Big Stick or a Silvercon 99 because they're proven. I've owned them before. They're ready, available. The price is right. And that's why a lot of people buy those antennas. But so anyway, there's a long and the short of it or the quarter wave length, half wave, five eighths wave, three quarter wave length, full wave of it. I'm not sure. Thanks for watching.